Hi, Cyber Sisters and Misters. Welcome back. If you're new, I'm Sunkiss Nick. Make sure you subscribe down below. For today's video, I'm reviewing the Curls Curls Official Afro Kinky Clip-Ins on my 4C hair. So stick around and watch me go from basic to slayed. I'm starting this style on hair that is clean and fresh so fresh and so clean co-washed hair my hair has been stained and I'm adding my favorite cream moisturizer and an organic coconut oil before parting my hair from ear to ear If you've been tuned in for a while, then you already know that my preference is usually a middle part, and especially I love a thin middle braid. Yes, yes, yes. I'm super excited to review these clip-ins. If you missed the previous video, I highly recommend that you watch it also because that's where I demonstrate how to prep and care for the curls prior to installation and also how to simply get more bang for your buck on this bundle. So many of the questions that you may have were possibly answered in the previous pre-wash video. But I'll repeat some of the basic information here and I'll also include some of those clips over here too. Again, in case you missed it, these are the Curls Curls Officials clip-ins. Today I'm using one bundle in the natural color. The color is actually called natural. It's 14 inches long and this is the Afro Kinky Curly texture which is of course similar to my 4C hair. This bundle is also supposed to blend with 4B curls, but I can't speak on that. I don't know anything about that life. This is 4C strong. You hear me? Fro Bella is 4C strong. I purchased only one bundle of clip-ins, so without leave out, I won't be able to stretch these to achieve a full loose style. Now I'm styling the top half of my hair so I'll have some pizzazz if you if you will. Some of that melanin magic will show through, but I'll still be within regulation for patrolling. If you didn't know, I am a police officer and many styles that I share on this channel are done with work in mind, with regulation in mind, I'll say. And you know, as much as I love big voluminous hair, I wouldn't get much wear out of it if I did it because I'd have to change it up for work so soon. So, let's chat for a second. Take your time. Don't be like me. 
Nope, don't be like me. Take your time and add a neat and balanced braid. Yes, a balanced and neat braid. I recognize that this braid should be quarantined. I'll be the first to admit it, but no apologies though. No useless apologies in 2020, period. But yeah, on a side note, I rebuke this braid. Yeah, it's, yeah, no. I really wanted to cut out this clip because this braid is atrocious, but I made the promise to myself that I'm going to show my mess ups on this channel as well as my best um, takes. It is what it is and I was looking in the mirror so I clearly saw that it was one huge clump of a braid, but for some reason I kept going with it. I don't even know why. yeah I'm I'm staring at my Apple monitor right now like what are you doing sis Frobella is not proud right now but she's gonna be okay too Of course you have options for setting the base for the clip-ins installation. You can add to your hair and um, position the clips in a way that it'll flow with your natural hair for fullness and for length. Um, or you can add the cornrows, flat twists, ponytails, or slick down. Then add the clips on top of that base. Bone straight parts are a non-factor for this style, especially in the back. Just make sure that you add the desired number of your choice uh, for cornrows, flat twist, or whatever you decide, and add some type of moisturizer to your scalp. In addition to adding moisturizer, I'm using my prescription medication. It's in the cortisone family and is used to treat psoriasis. Use what you like so that your scalp won't be itchy and irritated if you even experience that type of issue. I do. My hair is of medium density and is short, so I didn't need to add a lot of flat twists to create a non-lumpy foundation. These will be flat enough for what I'm trying to achieve. While filming, I couldn't pinpoint why I was so excited to install this bundle. Of course, I've used clip-ins before, but now that I've had time to, you know, just have a moment to process it all, the day that I received this shipment, I remember I was at a low point, you know, from COVID-19 to seemingly unprecedented numbers of civil rights violations and hate crimes against black people. I believe I was trying to claim a reason to smile. And as silly as that may sound, we all need to claim small victories that will give us a silly reason to smile.
it's showtime. So I'm starting the installation at the bottom and working my way up. I'm using the four clips first. The clips are open. I close them by pressing them until they snap closed. It's super easy. So basically what I'm doing is pinching the hair between the teeth of the clips to lock them into place. Rather, I snap the clips onto the twist itself or on the base of the twist. Honestly, it doesn't matter as long as it's snapped closed. This bundle is soft and light, although the wefts do have a certain fullness and thickness to them. I believe that it's truly 14 inches long. Although I didn't get any clips of me stretching it to its full length for this video, but I did get some stretching clips in the previous video, so be sure to check that out. And when you get over there, drop me the sunshine emoji along with a meaty comment. Guys, thanks in advance for checking out that previous video. I'm adding the clips closer together in the crown. I also added the last one in reverse with the teeth toward my face so that when I flip it over, the clips won't be visible. The entire installation took about five minutes. Who doesn't have five minutes to get your best life? I do, honey, I do. Now my mister contains water and aloe vera juice, and so I'm misting my hair very, very lightly. It helps um, to separate the coils, and at the same time, it helps to clump the curls. I'm adding just a little bit of Thaler gel, and that will help with the curl and to add the definition clearer definition into these um, clips this is my dimming brush it's seen better day but we're gonna make it work today okay we're gonna make it work now I expected that I would have to trim the ends since I didn't do that during the prepping phase But overall, I don't feel like I had much to trim. Now, it did shed some during the co-wash, but not enough to be concerned. And so as I wrap this up, I'd like for you to leave me a comment and tell me what you think of the style and of the clip-ins. Now, go easy on this braid now. <laughs> go easy on the braid. I know she's not doing too much there. But let me know if you tried this brand before or if you recommend another brand. Just let me know. I believe that I'll have this bundle for a long time to come. I'll reuse them in the near future and beyond. I do believe I'm really confident that these clip-ins will last me a while. Now, um, I'll give an update very soon, especially if I decide to color the tips. Now, I'm beyond satisfied with the quality. I think that they're worth the money. They're a time saver for sure. And I couldn't be more pleased with the outcome. Now. I'm a satisfied customer. Curls, curls, you've done your thing, girl. You've done it. I'll give you a little close up of the curl pattern of this hair. And this is only with using aloe vera juice, a little. Echo Styler Gel and water. Not too bad. Drum 
here's the final look. Yes, get into this look, honey. These clip-ins are doing the thing, okay? I really like it. I love how they completely take away the attention from that charade that I have going on. It's super cute, but what do you all think? I didn't do anything crazy again. That would be a complete waste of my time and energy because guess what? I'm patrolling in the morning, so back to the grind. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your 24 while I continue to do a little of this and a little of that. Until next time, I'm Sunkiss Nick. Be sure to subscribe and I thank you so much for watching. Bye. Click the link above for another classy, sassy hair tutorial or a session of Sunkiss Says.